Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It's nearly mid-December 2021 and I want to talk today about something that is um, something new to me really even though I've been here all these years and I've been up here in the garden so so many times I can't count it. There's a tree here which has a fruit on it that uh, comes out I think late summer and then has always seemed to be rotting away uh, on the tree and then Tam's dad comes along and he picks these see they look rather weird uh, and this one is very gooey I don't know if, if I can show you actually I'll get as close as I can it's very gooey it's almost like rotten and it has can you see this has this bit of a looks like a pulp actually I'm going to try it for the first time. I've never tasted this before in my life. So here we go. Mmm. It has some big stones in it. But it tastes like apple mousse. That's what's left. And uh, I've thrown away the husk. In the local language here, this tree is called a mushmuller. I hope I pronounced that right. If anybody's watching from the Western Balkans or in the diaspora anywhere, I'm sure you're going to leave a comment uh, and tell me that I pronounced it wrong. Mushmuller. And um, I haven't seen Tam eating them at all. Maybe her mother once or twice, but every year her father is walking around the garden just sucking out uh, this fruit, basically, uh, and spitting out the, the seeds. Mushmuller. In English, that is meddler. And I was fascinated um, by a video that Tam and I watched recently. It's on a channel called Wilderness Cooking, which is a super channel from uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, and there they were making juice uh, out of meddler. And they were also pouring it over uh, their version of sorghum dolma, which is stuffed onions and um, I think Tam's going to make a video about how she's making uh, sogon dolma which is a traditional meal here in Bosnia Herzegovina uh, but she's going to do it like the Azeris do it because she said it's so much simpler than how the Turks do it. Anyway I digress. Medla. I did some research online and I caught a video an English video where the guy says medla which is an old fruit in England uh, it was uh, a dominant fruit, actually, up until the time of Queen Victoria. And then, you know, things went to more exotic fruits, fruits sorry, bananas um, and all sorts of uh, oranges became the dominant uh, fruit. And you can see that at Christmas time, we'll be in Christmas soon here, uh, and there's all that sort of fruit out on the table. And Medler went and took a bit of a uh, back seat. And he said, Medler is a native English fruit. He's totally and utterly wrong. The Medler, let me see if I can find one. Oh, here's one here. Mm, they really are tasty. The Medler actually comes from the area that we call the South Caucasus. So it's that range of countries between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And that's where it comes from originally. Uh, it first pops up, I think, uh, in written history as being something that the Greeks used to use a lot and the Romans were very much into meddler. And I think actually it was the most probably uh, the Romans that brought the meddler to the United Kingdom. If you look, I'm going to be a little bit crude now. If you look at that, Shakespeare refers to this as an ass fruit. It does look a bit like a puckered rear end doesn't it i hope you can see that i'll try and zoom in later um so you can see that so this was used a lot uh in the uk the meddler uh, i don't know if it's having a resurgence at the moment there's not many videos that i can see about it or much information that i can find out about it but uh, you can make this uh into a juice uh, and you can also uh make it as a compote i think and I saw one video where a lady made medler tart from a very old recipe. So I'm not a, a medler expert at all, but we have this tree here 
this medlar tree. As I say, over all the years I've been here, uh, I've seen the medlars fall um, and then the medlars being picked, as I say, by Tam's father. By the way, to eat these, you have to wait until they're bletted. Uh, and bletted is like a word. Mm, these are really tasty. Is a word, I suppose, that means that it's nearly rotting. You can't eat them um, when they're fresh. So you have to take them off uh, and then let them blet, B-L-E-T. Or you can leave them on the tree until they're bletted. We've got a bucket of bletted mushmula uh, of these medlars and we're going to try and make something out of them. We don't know what it's going to be yet. Is it going to be jelly? Is it going to be jam? Or can we go through the process of turning it into juice? But that will be the subject for another video. But I thought I'd show you, even on these cold days that we're getting now, the medlar, the mushmula. Yeah, really interesting. I'm going to try and I'm going to squeeze another bit out. Mm. These are so tasty. You know, if I squeeze some of these out and put them in a jar, I don't think they'd last very long. They're really rot. This would be nice on bread. I like bread and butter. Typical Englishman. So that's me. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this uh, short introduction to Mushmula, otherwise known as the Medler, uh, in my language. Look out for a video coming soon about what Tamara does with the Medlers. Of course, I'll be helping her out with that. If you do like the channel, please do share, like and subscribe. It means a lot if you can boop, bang, smash that like button, that thumbs up button. Uh, that really helps us because with the YouTube algorithm, the more likes it gets, the more uh, YouTube will offer this to people that might find this video interesting. So I'm David. I'm an Englishman in the Balkans, by the way, and it is getting cold. And I think I better get inside, otherwise uh, I have to drink lots of hot toddies and, you know, you can't really do that, can you? Okay then, until next one, see you soon.